Good evening, Good and evening. welcome to Friday night Bible class. Glad to be before you, before at the sacred podium, mm -hmm. <laughs> to share what the Lord has laid on our hearts regarding sounding of the trumpet. And my sister Deborah, this is somewhat lengthy. I've heard that, but you know what? Can't get enough of God's word. Amen. If that's what it takes, amen. Amen. The, amen. The the mission is to see that we have a sound understanding of the effects of the sounding of the trumpet or what happens if you don't sound it. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. What happens if you sound the trumpet and you don't listen? Right. Amen. And those are the effects that we're going to see. We've covered some of that already. So we're just going to touch a little bit of that first trumpet because it keeps leading into the second. Then we're going to jump because we're going to go to the end of the second trumpet era. Okay. All righty, let's look at, Sister Carissa, give me Isaiah 2 and 2. Some of you will recognize that mountain. <laughs> Isaiah 2 and 2 says what? Prayer. Oh, I'm so sorry. Thank you so much. I'm just full of zeal here. <laughs> let's, let's do it, knowledge the Lord. I want you to get your blessing as I, God used this vessel to do it. Our most gracious and loving Father, in Jesus' name, dear God, we truly thank you. Lord, we're so grateful to you. Lord, when all the world is in chaos and yes. people don't know where to turn, there is still a river yes. that makes glad the city of God. And Lord, while they're scratching their heads and, and, and drinking and smoking it off and, and do it, killing themselves, while we pray for them, we thank you for blessing us. Yes. Lord, while they're sick, you're healing us. Lord God, while they're giving up, you're encouraging us. Yes. And we praise you for it, dear God. Yes. Help us, Lord, to be a blessing to those that are still out there in that sea of wicked people. Yes. In Jesus' precious name, make us a blessing this night. Bless our understanding. And Lord, edify the body for your glory. In Jesus' most Amen. precious name. Yes. Father, thank you. Amen. 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 Thank you for that. All right. So now Isaiah 2 and 2 says what? And it shall come to pass mm -hmm. in the last days yes. that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountain. In the top of the mountain. And shall be exalted above the hills. Yes. And all nations shall flow into it. All right. So we're talking about what? When the mountain is on fire. Because that's the issue. Keeping God's holy mountain on fire. And that goes from back then all the way up till now. Amen. And how much more now? Amen. Because now we are the people in the Laodicean age. We're not dealing with it, that age tonight. But we're still the people in that age. And that age is saying, come on down that mountain. Slide on back down into the sea. Give up. They don't take all that, right? Don't consecrate. Don't knock yourself out trying to do all that. But thank God we need to do all that and more. Amen. So that fiery glow, mm -hmm. let this represent the Church of God of Chicago. Amen. Because this is what we want to see. We're talking about consecrating messages of consecration and yes. faith and all these things. You know, it's all so good. But what do those things cause us to be like? If God looks at us, in a panoramic view right. at the church, will he see this? Mm -hmm. All right. Will he see this? That's the question. Amen. Will you be contributing to this? Mm -hmm. Or will we just glow with the fire, Holy Ghost fire in every one of our souls? Amen. That's what we're talking about. All right? Amen. Go a little further. Look up at Revelation 6 and 2. What does that say? And I saw, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat on him mm -hmm. had a bow. Yes. And a crown was given unto him, mm -hmm. and he went forth conquering and to conquer. Amen. So the angel was encouraging the saints. See the, that first trumpet blowing? Saints were going forth conquering and to conquer. And see the fire, people were getting sanctified, right. souls getting saved, bodies getting healed. That's the church of God. That is the church of God. Amen. Now, are we in her tonight? Alright? 
Thank God. Let's go a little further. Ezekiel 33, verses 4 and 5. Ezekiel 33, verses 4 and 5. Then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet, yes, and taketh not warning, mm -hmm. if the sword come and take him away, yeah. his blood shall be upon his own head. Blood meaning what? Blood guiltiness. Yes. Your blood is on your own head. You did it to your own self. If the trumpet goes forth and you don't pay attention to it, you don't take heed to it. All right. Read on to verse 5. He heard the sound of the trumpet. Yes. And took not warning. And took not warning. Uh-huh. His blood shall be upon him. Yes. But he that taketh warning yes. shall deliver his soul. So we're going to see those who took warning in the first two ages, first two trumpet ages, and those who didn't, and what were the consequences? Uh -huh. All right? Amen. Go a little further here, and we have, uh-oh, Revelation 12 and 4. Amen. Revelation 12 and 4. We're looking at this woman represents the church. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Standing on the, the foundation of the prophets, right? Yeah. With the light of the sun at her head. The sun meaning the gospel. She's standing firm and faithful and true in the word of God. And what does it do? When we stand true, what happens? When Zion travails, she brings forth converts. Yes. Yeah. She's painting to deliver her converts. But look what's waiting to eat them. Yes. It's yes. like that today. Yes, it is. It's no different today. Converts. If you notice, when you first get saved, how, you know, you have a few days of just glory, right? Just peace and joy and you can almost float out of here. Everything looks so beautiful that all of a sudden, mama starts acting funny. Uh -huh. Daddy starts talking about what is this you've joined. It's a Your co-workers, someone don't take all that. What you do, get part of a cult. Uh -huh. Someone else would invite you out to the local party where they never invited you before. All right. Amen. What is all that about? That's that dragon. That's yes. all. Amen. The devil and Satan. Looking for the converts to eat them alive before Amen. they can ever get established in the things of God. Amen. All right? Did you read all of that? Revelations 12 and 4. Mm -hmm. And his tail drew yes. the third part of the stars of heaven. Yes. I'll tell you that in a minute. Read on. And did cast them to the earth. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered for to devour her child as soon as it was born. As soon as it was born. So two major missions of the devil, yeah. two major um, characterizations, two major yeah. victims, or potential victims, yeah. thank God he protects us, that he has in his crosshairs all the time. All the, the ministry yes, and the newborn babies. Yes, ma'am. Oh my goodness, he could just get leadership to fall flat mm. and to compromise and lose that, you know, lose that anointing. Yes. It's going to affect the whole church. If he can get Amen. the babies, you won't have a church after right, a while. Right. Amen. Well, thank God we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. Thank, God. thank the Lord. All right, let's go a little further. Historical view. What kind of things were going on during the time of the first trumpet? Remember, this wasn't anything that happened like boom, overnight. This was year after year. Decade after decade, right? Um, um, for century, century after yeah. century. Mm -hmm. How these things slowly began Correct. to evolve, yeah. right? And sometimes things happen so slow we think we're okay when we're not. Mm -hmm. All right. Amen. Amen. So historical view. So when I read these as they come up, sis. The ministry left their first love. False doctrines influenced the saints. These are things we co we covered last time. Mm -hmm. Persecution against the church mm -hmm. began to calm down as the trumpet sounded less and less. Mm -hmm. And like, like slowly over time. Mm -hmm. In the year 110 AD, St. Ignatius of Antioch wrote the term Catholic Church yep. in a letter to the Church of God at Smyrna. There's Brother Ignatius. I say brother with a question mark. It's so easy, the little glow around 
around his head, so holy, have his little Bible per perched up there, lifting up hands, weren't holy hands, all right? It's so easy to look pious, so easy to just act like a saint, talk like a saint, even look like a saint. But if you're not right in your heart, you're not a saint. Amen. Amen. All right, let's go a little further. Let's look at 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse three, verses 3 and 4. Let no man deceive you by any means. Yes. For that day shall not come, mm -hmm. except there come a falling away first. Yes. And that man of sin be revealed, mm -hmm. the son of perdition. Yes. Who opposeth and exalteth himself mm -hmm. above all that is called God. Look at the picture. Mm -hmm. Or that is worshipped. Yes. So that he as God sitteth in the temple of God. Yes. Showing himself that he is God. My God. And you can just imagine. And I like to take these pictures and let's put a little drama into them. So we can imagine what kind of things were going on as these as the bishops, the pastors were getting more and more power. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, the government was backing them up, which we'll cover that in a little bit. And the people around them were more and more fearful yeah. of them because they had Roman government backing. Yeah. Okay? So now he's not a king. Mm -hmm. He's a pastor. Mm. But the, what did the government give him? Power wow. like a prince. Yeah. Isn't that something? So here's his little henchman on the side. This looks like a king right here. And he's probably scared to death of this man. That's so sad, but that's what happens with man rule. Man rule. And they're playing up to him, he's maybe giving gifts and all of that. People standing around looking for his approval. God help us. But there was still a people that didn't go for this, that stood on what the Bible taught and did not lift up pastors or bishops as lords over God's heritage. Mm -hmm. Thank God. All right. Let's look at Revelation 8 and 8. What does that say? And the second angel sounded, mm -hmm. and as it were, a great mountain burning with fire yes. was cast into the sea. Was cast into the sea. And the third part of the sea became blood. Stop there. We're talking about people. When you're talking about the sea, don't go there. Revelation 17, 15 talks about nations, right? Kindreds, yeah. peoples, tongues, multitudes, people. Falling. Now, you know, can fire continue to burn once it hits water? No. Mm -hmm. no. No. And we didn't read it, but the devil talked, the Bible talks about where Satan flooded the woman with water. Yeah. That's right. There's the water down there. Flooded her. Come on, fall. Give up. Recant. Amen. Don't stay saved. It takes too much. It's too much. It's too much. Give up. But like I mentioned, here's your justification, your sanctification, your unity. Mm. Amen. Amen. Here it is, burning as a great light. See how it lights up the sky? Yeah. Anybody coming close to it will say, that's Amen. the real church of God that's over there. Right. Amen. We've been told that before in years past. Oh, they're the real church of God. Yes. Amen. Amen. We were told that by people that were already in the sea. Mm. Still carrying the name Church of God. All right? Yeah. So we're talking about when we do what God tells us to do, oh, the glory. Oh, the glory. Right? Right. Amen. What happened? God's holy mountain began to slide into the sea. Lord have mercy. Look at this. Well, we just going to see all that glow, yeah. Yeah. all that glory, right? Do you see over time, like I said, as if God was looking at a, a panoramic view of the church, this is what he would have seen. He would have seen people letting down, people giving up, right? People taking his place. I'm it. There's nobody else besides me. Amen. And you can imagine these lights that are around the top of this mountain 
this little fire right here are the saints still trying to hold on. Mm. Wow. Isn't that something? Yeah. But it got the mountain got darker and yeah. darker, darker as it went down. Right. But some are still trying to hold on. Lord, help us. Amen. All right. Now, we were looking, at first of all, we were talking about the white horse rider. Yeah. And the armies that followed him went forth conquering and to conquer. Who's this? All right. Lord, help us. Let's look at Revelation 6, verses 3 and 4. Sinister looking thing. Would you want something like that to be your pastor? No. Well, that was, there was no problem getting an answer like that, was it? <laughs> Amen. But you know what? There are some people who have something like this for their pastor. Sure. Yeah. That's right. Go there every Sunday and sure. sit in the pews while that nasty spirit starts talking over the pulpit. Yes, sure. Compromised. Yeah. Amen. Absolutely. Not encouraging people to go on to perfection. Not encouraging people to read, pray, fast. Be all you can be for God. No, let's, let's party. Yeah. Nobody's perfect. Right? Mm -hmm. Amen. What's your sister's name? Huh? Come on now. Mm -hmm. People are going through this all the time. God help us to want better. Amen. Amen. It, it's too easy for us to be make ourselves content to have something like this. But uh, and the worst part of this is it came out of so-called Church of God folks. Right. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. That's the yeah. worst reproach of all. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Once new truth. Mm -hmm. How had the faithful city become a harlot? Yeah. Oh my God. But thank God there were still people that held on. Mm -hmm. Amen. So what does Revelation 6 verses 3 and 4 say? And when he had opened the second seal, yes. I heard the second beast say, Come and see. Mm -hmm. And there went out another horse that was red. And power was given to him Listen. that sat there on to take peace from the earth. Now, we're not talking about taking peace from the grass and the trees. Mm -hmm. Right. Earth, earth, mm -hmm. hear the word of the Lord. Yes. Yes. Amen. Earthen vessels yes. to take peace. What does that mean? When you don't walk in the light that you have. Yes, ma'am. And that white horse rider starts walk, riding away from you mm -hmm. because you will not obey. This is your alternative. Mm. And he is here to take peace from you. Not only take peace from you, but to kill you with his sword. Yes. Amen. Read on, sis. Anymore. And power was given to him that sat there on mm -hmm. to take peace from the earth. Yes. And that they should kill one another. Mm -hmm. And there was given unto him a great sword. Mm -hmm. My God. And this was what was happening over time. But Church of God folks that didn't see fit to maintain the same fervor mm -hmm. as Jesus taught them mm -hmm. in the morning time, right? Amen. Amen. And you were looking at this again. Let's look at Revelation 8, verse 9. What does that say? And the third part of the creatures mm -hmm. which were in the sea yes. and had life Right. Died. Mm -hmm. Watch this. Now we saw the starting to fizzle out, right? Yes, They're trying to hold on to the top, right? Uh -huh. Look. Mm -hmm. well, why is all the lights down here? All right. They're heading into the sea. They were once up here. They were once holding on over here. Uh -huh. But now the light, the light is almost out. Mm -hmm. You can't even find a glow from right. the little light that's left of a few saints that were still standing. So many had compromised. So many decided it don't take all that. So many decided we don't have to be sanctified. We get it all at once. We good. Yeah, the Holy Ghost came in my life and I got saved. But you saw a you couldn't hold on when the test of trials started coming. Amen. Now they're sliding on down the mountain into that sea. You see this darkness here? Yeah, yeah. That doesn't mean there's nobody there. Mm. Right. Yeah. Mm. right. Their lights just went out mm. already. Yeah. Mm. Mm. And the am. worst thing of all, is still religious yep. and yes, still sir. professing yep. church of God. Yep. Yep. Yes, ma'am. Still professing yes. church of God. Locate yourself. Look at this picture. Where are you? Wow. Where are you in this picture? 
Are you up here holding on by the grace of God? There's a few on the side still holding. You holding on? Or did you say, what's the use? Mm -hmm. Or did you say, well, God understands my heart? Mm -hmm. Oh, he understands it all right. Mm -hmm. That's why the sea ate it up. Amen. Amen. And you ended up with no God at all. Mm -hmm. Amen. So God's holy mountain began to slide slow over time. Over time, mm -hmm. Lord help us. Okay? Historical view. They forgot how there was a time when they stood for truth and look what pagan Rome, the dragon, was trying was doing to them. Mm -hmm. Feeding them to the lions in the big yeah. arena. Sure. Yeah. While they were having sport, kill them, kill them. These are mothers, fathers, children. Saints of God that were saved Amen. the same way we were. Yeah. That held on to the same doctrine we hold on to today. And they were fed, they were food for hungry lions. What are you complaining about today? Right. Which lion bit on you? <laughs> Come on, think about it. I, I can't hardly make it pray for me. Life's so hard. I almost backslid. Well, that same lion, spiritually speaking, that ate them up literally, you'll have to eat up your soul. You keep talking like that. Amen. We're talking about what? Historical view, but history repeats itself. Yes, it does. The world hates us like it hated them. Mm -hmm. We're just protected by our government. Mm -hmm. God help us. Read this for us, sister. Oh, yeah. Year 313 AD, mm -hmm. the Edict of Milan declares the Roman Empire neutral mm -hmm. towards religious views, wow. yes. in effect, ending yes. Christian persecution. Wow. So as they let down, we mentioned, this became less, less, and less. Read on. Under Constantine, yes. some bishops ruled as magistrates mm -hmm. and no longer judged by the laws of Christ. And that's how they got out from under persecution. Mm -hmm. right. You stop holding judgment, people are not going to hate you no more. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, you all right, guys. See, you finally came around. Mm -hmm. No, you finally came down. Amen. Um, amen. What the devil has been trying to do to you all along. What's this one? One bishop named Paula Sumas Sumasada mm -hmm. sat as a magistrate yep. and obtained great wealth by extorting money from the saints for his services. He promised oh, aid to the poor for a fee. For a fee. Mm. And nobody could complain about that. Why? Because the Roman government was backing them. They ruled. They ruled. That's right. Amen. And here's Constantine. If you've ever wondered what he looked like. <laughs> All right? Lifting up a hand. I can't call it holy. No. Because it was not. Amen. Read this one. Constantine became emperor in 323 AD. Mm -hmm. He met with bishops in the Nicene Council yes. and adopted the Nicene Creed. Mm -hmm. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. Wow. No blood, nowhere. Mm -hmm. Right. No blood. And there was more to it. We couldn't get all of that, a whole lot of stuff. It was just what? Compromise, compromise, yeah. compromise. Yeah. Zapping the power right yeah. out of the church altogether, where God couldn't do a thing for them with that doctrine. All right? The Roman government promoted certain bishops to have authority over yes. others. A princely authority was given to bishops mm -hmm. that possessed greater wealth and influence. Yes. All right. So, over time, yeah. slowly, yeah. evolving down. And that same devil is out to get us. All right? Read this for us, sis. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. These were the bishops. You see how they're hobnobbing with Roman, with Roman, yeah. with the upper echelons of yeah. the Roman army? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. There was a time when those same ones 
would have fed them to the lions had right. they stood. Yeah. Right. That's right. Look how they're looking so hard. Almost like a woman standing there. Look, all oh, fine and just prosperous. Yeah. And oh, God is truly blessing. Praise God. Right. Mm. Renat says. For ye could pass sea and land mm -hmm. to make one proselyte. Yes. And when he is made, ye make him twofold more the child of hell than yourselves. Amen. Read on. Even so, ye also outwardly appear righteous unto men. Mm -hmm. But within, ye are full of hypocrisy and iniquity. Oh, dear God in heaven. It's amazing. And by the year 400, Jerome's Vulgate, the Latin Bible, became, was translated and published. The Latin Bible, which is the Catholic Bible, uh, yeah. took all, a little bit of truth, a little bit of the Gospels, and blended it with all their catechisms, all the lies they came up with from all those councils and all of that to get people just enough to lure them in. Oh, they're preaching truth. They said John 3, 16. But that's all they said. God so loved the world that gave you the Pope. Now you bow to him. Wow. <laughs> that's right. Elevated to magistrates. Lord help. All right, let's look at... This is Revelation 2, verses 8 through 11. Revelation 2, verses 8 through 11. And unto the angel of the church in Smyrna write, mm -hmm. These things saith the first and the last, yes. which was dead and is alive. Mm -hmm. I know thy works. This is the message given in the end of this, this second trumpet age as, the, as the, we're coming through it and coming toward the end of it. We're, this is the message. It's not the same as we heard when we dealt with um, the church at Ephesus. Because mm -hmm. at Ephesus, look at all the good works you're doing. Mm -hmm. I see those, but now I'm giving you a warning. Mm -hmm. You left your first love. Mm -hmm. Repent and get do the first. Come on, rededicate. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Do the first works over before I take the candles to God of His place. Right. They didn't repent. Mm -hmm. So now here with the church almost about fizzled out except for a handful of people that still wanted to stand. Read it again. Verse 9. Uh-huh. I know thy works. I know your works. And tribulation. Yes. And poverty. See the difference in the message? Yeah. Tribula going through tribulation yeah. and poverty. What have they done to you? Read on. But thou art rich. Yes, in your soul, read. And I know the blasphemy of mm -hmm. them which say they are Jews, uh -huh. and are not. They say they're saved and are not, read. But are of the synagogue of Satan. Right. Now, they're calling it Church of God. Mm -hmm. God said, uh-uh, yeah. synagogue of Satan. Amen. Church of Satan. Because that's who took over the pulpit. Mm -hmm. Amen. Read on, sis. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Here's the encouragement of yeah. the trumpet. Mm -hmm. This trumpet is giving an encouraging message, a message of hope in spite of what the people all around you have done. Don't you be afraid. Read on. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, mm -hmm. that ye may be tried, yes. and ye shall have tribulation ten days. That's representing a thousand years. Can I go into that now for time? Read. Be thou faithful unto death, mm -hmm. and I will give thee a crown of life. Verse 11. He that hath an ear, they let hear you. It what are, the Spirit says to the churches. Are they listening? Some were still listening. He to the that sound of the trumpet mm -hmm. shall not be hurt of the second death. Well, what's the first death? And you hath he quickened, yeah. which were dead in trespasses and yeah. sins. What was that? Separated from God, right? No fellowship, cut off like Adam and Eve when they sinned, right? Well, what's the second death? Separation from God yeah. forever. Forever. Mm -hmm. forever. In the lake of fire. Mm -hmm. Amen. They will not be heard of that second death. But oh, look at all the people that will. Yeah. Amen. They look so pious. They look so humble, don't they? 
They looked so modest. Mm -hmm. But inside their hearts were mm -hmm. dead men's bones. Yeah. Amen. All kinds of iniquity and hypocrisy. Yeah. Amen. We can't get excited over the outward appearance of people. Mm -hmm. Amen. The Bible says, by their fruit you know them. Yep. How do they act? Mm -hmm. That tells you what they have. Sure. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Anybody can put on a long skirt. Yeah. All right? And I can act the yeah. devil from head to toe and wear a long skirt, you know what I mean? Yeah. And a modest top. That means nothing if yeah. I can't act right. Amen. Amen. Am I wearing robes of righteousness? Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. that's, what, that's right. Inwardly. Mm -hmm. So what were the saints? The saints at this point, what are they facing? Full-blown apostasy. Yes. Mm -hmm. There's right. apostasy going on today. Sure. Yes. They have nice little church buildings, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. fellowship meetings, yeah. and apostatize. Amen. It's scary. Mm -hmm. We have to hold on to the top of that mountain. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. You know, things don't get any better, do they? Mm -hmm. Now, yeah. the red horse was bad enough. Mm -hmm. Worse and worse. Worse yeah. and worse. Yeah. When you begin that seed, you know, what? like it's old, but take a web, we weave, but first we begin to deceive, to deceive or whatever that is. That tangled spiritual web yeah. mm -hmm. that that spiritual spider got you caught in. Yes. Mm -hmm. If you don't struggle your way out, if you don't right. acknowledge what God what God required of you, you didn't do. Yeah. It gets worse, worse, worse. Yeah, Revelation six. No, I'm sorry. Revelation third. No, okay, get it right. Six verses five and six. I didn't do that yet, did I? No. no. Okay. Yeah. Revelation six verses five and six. And when he had opened the third seal, yes. I heard the third beast say, come and mm -hmm. see. What was going on as we approach 570? What was going on? Read it for us, sis. And I beheld and lo, a black horse. Black horse. And he that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hand. Uh -huh. What did he do with those balances? He, and I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, mm -hmm. a measure of wheat for a penny. Mm -hmm. What does wheat use for? Making bread. 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 Real good. All right? Mm -hmm. Bread. What is bread a type of? The doctrine. doctrine. The doctrine. Yes, ma'am. Let's measure it out. Mm -hmm. Like I mentioned, they give you just enough yeah. to draw you in. Mm -hmm. And then they tell you if you don't bow to the Pope, yeah. you're going to die. Isn't that amazing? Just enough for you to think you came to the right place until it's time to bow to them statues and go through their statutes and their ordinances that you can't find anywhere in the Bible at all. When they tell you to pray to Mary, what are they going to do? Say, no, I can't do that at the peril of their lives? That black horse has no truth at all. Mm -hmm. No light at all. Any more says? A measure of wheat for a penny. Yes. And three measures of barley for a penny. Cheapening right. the gospel. Yes. Mm -hmm. And see that thou hurt not the oil and the wine. Wow. That's where the like, that hypocrisy. But don't hurt the word of the spirit. Right. Praise the Lord. We're still the church of God. Yes, we're calling ourselves the Holy Roman Catholic Church. But that's really the church of God. Mm -hmm. Line from mm -hmm. head to toe. Lying on God. Oh my God. And like we said, things don't get any better, right? No. After this, measuring out this truth a little bit by little bit by little bit. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Who wants this for their pastor? Mm -hmm. Who? Somebody's sitting on, in a pew with, with this spirit preaching yes. to them. Yes, ma'am. Or not preaching to them. Oh, Lord. That's right. Revelation 13. We're going to first read verses 1 and 2. Who is this ugly thing? And I stood upon the sand of the sea mm -hmm. and saw a beast rise up out of the sea. Remember we talked about all those little lights that were at the top of the mountain? Mm -hmm. Then a slowly slide, closer and closer, right going down to the water. And the light of the church got dimmer and dimmer and dimmer. Oh my God, and all the backslidden folks, yet professing people, hypocrite and bad attitudes, compromising false doctrine, all stirred up in the sea, and look what came up out of the results of it. Yeah. 
Read it again, sis. And I stood upon the sand of the sea. Yeah. And saw a beast rise up out of the sea. A beast. Mm -hmm. Having seven heads and ten horns. Yeah. That thing through every church age. Can't go through all of those right now. We're sticking with the trumpet. Sure. All right. But every church age, there was a false yes. prophet. Amen. Yes. There were false priests. Oh, yeah. False doctrine. To come yeah. against the saints no matter what age we lived in. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And this was the worst of all. The beast. What beast is this? That same. Well, let me let you read it. Come on, don't read it from me. Don't ahead of you. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Having seven heads and ten horns. Yes. And upon his horns, mm -hmm. ten crowns. Crowns. And Victories. Upon his yes. Heads, crown. The Power name crown. of blasphemy. Blasphemy. Holy Roman Church is blasphemy. Yes, yes it too. Is. Amen. Yes. And the beast which I saw was mm -hmm. like unto a leopard. All right. And his feet were as the feet of a bear. Mm -hmm. And his mm -hmm. mouth as the mouth of a lion. Mm -hmm. And the dragon gave him his power. That's the worst part of all. Yes, and man. his seat and great authority. So what about all those descriptions they're talking about? Those are the same descriptions Daniel saw. We're yeah. not going there in the seventh chapter. But what were you looking at? The pagan kingdoms. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Babylonian. Look at the spirit of Babylon. Right. All right. Yeah. There's that. That's right. What does that mean? Why did he go to, to the three Hebrew boys? If you don't worship the God that I set up, you'll be thrown in the midst of a burning, fiery furnace. Right. That's the same spirit the Catholic Church had. Mm -hmm. They did the yes, same thing. Amen. Yes, Amen. Amen. All right? And then we have the Medo-Persian kingdom. Yes. They all came in with what? With violence. Yes. Mm -hmm. Take you down. Destroy you. Kill your people. Amen. Right? With no conscience whatsoever. Well, after them, what came? The Grecians. Alexander the Great was crazy. He was brilliant, but he was crazy. Come on. He was ruthless. He burned the city just because he was mad yeah. at what their ancestors had done. And burned up Persepolis. Destroyed a beautiful city. Killed the people like it was nothing. Set it on fire. Went from place to place to place, conquering the conquering, taking them down. Yeah. What did the Catholic Church do? All over the world. Missionaries, right? Yeah. And if you spirit. don't succumb to that teaching, yeah. they destroyed you wherever you were. Yes, ma'am. The Spanish Inquisition mm -hmm. murdered millions of saints because they refused to recant their faith. Mm -hmm. All right? That's the same spirit as this beast. Amen. And it was backed by the power of the Roman government, mm -hmm. by the, the emperors, which is why nobody could stand against it, and it had victory. That's right. My Lord, read on. That was verse 2. Uh, let's see. Read verse 4. And they worshiped the dragon which gave power unto the beast. Mm -hmm. And they worshiped the beast saying, who is like unto the beast? Mm -hmm. Who is able to make war with him? That same dragon that fed them to the lions, now they're worshiping it. Mm -hmm. Because the same spirit went into the beast. Yes. It went from paganism to papalism. Yes, ma'am. With the same method yeah. of dealing with people. The same yes, cruelty. The same. Mm. Amen. All right. Read. Um, did you finish that one? That was verse 4. Okay, but 6, 7, 8, 9. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. And he opened his mouth and blasphemy against God. Against the same one that said he's the church of God. Mm -hmm. Blaspheme against God. Mm -hmm. You see how the, the downward spiral? Yeah. I don't want you to think this is just history. No. The devil works the same way today. Yes, yes, People blind and we're watching the devil do the same kind of thing. The only difference is we haven't shed blood yet. Yes. Here. And we pray we won't ever, but we haven't yet. Not here. All right? Not here. All right? Read on. To blaspheme his name yes. and his tabernacle. Mm -hmm. And then they dwell in heaven. All right, blasting the saints, blasting God's name, yeah. his church, them that dwell in heaven, the saints. Read on. Verse 7. Mm -hmm. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints. It got worse. And He's making war them. with the very people that said there was, they all said they were saved at one time. Mm -hmm. Now he's turned on to make war. 
hard to, get, to kill them. Read it. And to overcome them. Yes. And power was given him over all kindreds and tongues yes. and nations. Lord have mercy. Read Verse on. Verse 8. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him, mm -hmm. whose names are not written oh, no. in the book of life. That's key. Yes, of it the is. Lamb's whose slave. name is not, not written. written in the book of life. Amen. You cannot embrace the doctrine of Catholicism and stay saved. Amen. There is no way possible. Amen. Amen. The doctrine Amen. itself will totally cut you off from any kind of fellowship with God. Yes. Amen. Mary worship will destroy your yes. soul. Amen. It is idolatry. Yes, it is. Mary didn't die on nobody's cross. Yes. She didn't shed not one drop of blood. She was a good sister, just like good sisters we have in our congregation and other yeah. congregations that are standing. Yeah. Right. Our good sister. Right. Amen. Amen. That God honored yeah. to bring forth his son. Amen. Amen. But her job was done when she brought him forth. She had to become a saint like everybody else. Amen. She had to live saved like everybody else mm -hmm. if she wanted to make heaven. Mm -hmm. right. Amen. My God, what else, what else is there saying? And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him. Shall worship his him. His names are not written in the book of life. Yes. Of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. Amen. Read. If any Amen. man have an ear, let him hear. Listen. Verse 10. He that led us into captivity. We're going to stop there. Stop okay. at 9. All right? Okay, let's see what we have. Praise God. Oh, my God. He made war with the saints. Mm -hmm. Burned at the stake. Yes. Well, they just stood around and watched. Mm -hmm. And look at the local magistrate just sitting there like, like it's looking at a show. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of things that went on in the public squares where everybody could see and be traumatized mm -hmm. yes. and scared to death mm -hmm. of the Pope. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Revelation 2, read verses 12 through 16. Lord God Almighty, while you're getting that, to not confess allegiance to the papacy and the Roman Catholic Church was a death sentence. Yes, it was. It was, and what's amazing to me, when they were persecuted by the dragon, to get saved was virtually a death sentence. Mm -hmm. Because Nero and other, yes. uh, Bright and other Caesars yes. that hated the Christians, mm -hmm. hated the idea of calling their gods fake. fake. You know, and everything they stood for, phony. They hated it. And they would throw stones at the Christians, find them praying, and throw rocks at them, and do things, mean things to them. Crucify them on those crosses. Sure. That's right, feed them to lions. And now, that same spirit mm -hmm. under Catholicism, burning them at the stake. Yeah. That's right, tearing them apart with beasts and yes, other man. horrible forms of torture. Yes. Read on, sis. Revelations 2 and 12. Yes. And to the angel of the church in Pergamos, yes. These things said he which hath the sharp sword with two edges. Mm -hmm. I know thy works. God had a message of hope even in these horrible times. Read on. And where thou dwellest. Yes. Even where Satan's seat is. Oh, yes. And thou holdest fast my name. Mm -hmm. And has not denied my faith. You have not given up the name Church of God. You have not given up holiness in Christ. You're still saved. You're still staying, living free from sin. Thank in spite God. of what could happen to you if they catch you. Because many people scattered and left the cities. Yes. Oh yeah, they had to get out of there. Yes. Because there were spies all around. Mm -hmm. People that would tell the Pope and his henchmen if they found a saint. They would tell him, and he'd send his guards to go pull them out of their houses, jail them until they could have a kangaroo court and do them like this. Mm -hmm. My God, read on, sis. Okay, and has not denied my faith, right. even in those days wherein Antipas mm -hmm. was my faithful martyr. And that just represents what? The martyrdom of God's people yeah. by the millions mm -hmm. were mercilessly killed, read on. Who was slain among you mm -hmm. where Satan dwelleth. Yes. But I have a few things against thee. Uh-oh. Because thou hast there them that hold the doctrine of Balaam. Now look at this. 
as much as they're trying to stay saved, and they're hiding from the wrath, right, of the Pope and his priest and all of that, and his, I don't know what they're called, they're like police, mm -hmm. all right, his Jesuits or whoever they might have been, all right? In spite of all that, look, false doctrine still trying to get in among the saints. Yeah. You can never relax. You can never just, you know, say, oh, we made it, we're, we're all saved, right? That don't mean nothing to the devil. That's right. With all that they were doing to stay safe, false doctrine was still trying to get in among them. Read it. Thou hast there them that hold the doctrine of Balaam, mm -hmm. who taught Balak to cast a stumbling, stumbling block, block before the children of Israel. Right, so there were stumbling blocks that were, they needed to put judgment on, even in their midst. Read it. To eat things sacrificed unto idols, mm -hmm. and to commit fornication. Spiritual fornication. Read Verse it. Verse 15. Yes. So hast thou also them that hold the doctrine of the Nicolaitans. The Nicolaitans. Now, we talked about that a few times yeah. back. It's still going on. Yeah. Spirits do not die. Not at all. Lord help When it comes down to keeping false, false doctrine out, you have to preach it. Preach it. Yeah. Preach it. You don't let up off of it. Lord. Keep the truth going. You don't, you don't relax. Keep the fire, Keep the fire yes, going. Stoke those flames. Yes, Stoke those flames. Fan yes, the flames. Yes, Keep it up. That's yes, right. Yes. Keep a fear among God's people. Yes. Lest anything should get in and yes. have no problem getting in the door. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's how the beast got in in the first place. Yes. They didn't stoke those flames like they right. should have. Mm -hmm. They didn't preach. Um, I'm preach the, go forth with a trumpet mm -hmm. as they should have. Yes. Looking at reward. Mm. There's a reward if you don't keep holding that doctrine on people. Yeah. Mm. They will leave you alone. Mm. There's a reward. They might promote you, which mm. they did, right? Yeah. Yes, All they the did. way to this. Oh, God. But there's a price to pay because you don't live forever. That's right. There is a judgment that will hold you accountable to what you have become if you compromise this truth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's no escape. If you think you got away because you left the church of God and you've gone down to Babylon and you're having a good old hallelujah time, you put on your makeup and your jewelry, got your pants back on thinking you're free, Deception. that's okay. Deception. God who inhabits eternity is sitting there waiting for your Wait time. For you. He already has your time already set. Yeah. Amen. 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 And you will bring all of that into the judgment. Yeah. Because you knew better. You knew better. Amen. Where are you, sis? Verse 15. Okay. So hast thou also them that hold the doctrine of the Nicolaitans. Yes. Which thing I hate. Uh-huh. Verse 16. Yes. Repent, or else I will come unto thee quickly, mm -hmm. and will fight against them with uh -huh. the sword of my mouth. 17. He that hath an ear. Let him hear yes. what the Spirit saith unto the churches. Mm -hmm. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the hidden manna. Stop. Why does it have to be hidden? Mm -hmm. Because of this. Yeah. Because if they want to live, there's no open preaching, no open mm -hmm. testifying. They don't dare. Mm -hmm. But yep. yet, God kept them saved and encouraged when they went to hide in different little places, right? How did God keep them? With hidden manna. Mm -hmm. When you get before God all by yourself, mm -hmm. and you have your devotion to God, mm -hmm. God will give you yes. hidden manna. Amen. It is just for you. Isn't yes. that something? Amen. He will open your understanding yeah. to different things you never thought about before. Right. He might show you things that are going to happen in the future that yeah. you had no idea about. True. And you'll sit there in awe watching it come to pass yeah. because he gave you wow. hidden man. Amen. Amen. Some of the best preaching you can hear is from the Holy Ghost oh, yeah. all by yourself. Oh, yeah. yes, oh yes. yes. And yeah. thank God for us when we get a chance to preach in this pulpit, but it ain't nothing like the Holy Ghost showing you things to come right. when you're all alone, just you and Jesus. Amen. Nothing like it. Yes. And we preach our heart out, but we cannot outdo the Holy right. Ghost yeah. himself. Right. Amen. Whoa. He knows all truth yes. and wants to reveal it to you sure. yes. if you give him that time. Yes. Get alone with God yes. so you'll never 
we never have to see anything like this happen right. to the church of God again. Right. Amen. 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 Praise God. So hidden matter, read on. And we'll give him a white stone. Yes. And in the stone, a new name a written. A new name written, which? Which no man knoweth. There it is again, because it's hidden. Mm -hmm. No Same. man knows it. God will save you. Save but you can't go out and say, I'm saved, glory. Uh-uh. There'll be an arrow going straight through your heart. Mm -hmm. But you can go, I'm saved, <laughs> Wow. Hey, isn't that something? Yes. With all that pressure, all that threat that they lived under, they still stay safe. Amen. 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 What Amen. excuse do we have? None. Right? None. Absolutely none. none. We haven't gone through anything that even in and your none. dreams, none. the worst you can see of something in your dreams, you've right. never seen nothing like this. Right. My Lord, mm. for a thousand years, Wow. Persecution held back the truth. Mm -hmm. So there's no open preaching for a thousand years. Mm -hmm. People forgot what truth was like over yes. a thousand years, except for the little groups yes. in the caves, yes. up in the mountains, right? Yes. That were yes. eating that hidden man. Yes. Amen. My Lord. Amen. Amen. Any more? That was the end of verse 17. All right. Let's look at this. And we're going to end with this. They're called the Waldenses. A lot of people say Waldenses. No, Waldenses mm -hmm. is called. All right. Can you read this, sis? I believe so. Yes. See it okay? Okay. As the Roman Empire morphed into the Roman Church mm -hmm. political union, which is what it was, mm -hmm. it led to a separation from the Roman Church system mm -hmm. by many groups throughout the former Roman Empire mm -hmm. who gave priority to the Bible over church tradition. Wow. So there was a split. Sure. Those that held true to the doctrine of Christ and those who wanted to hear fables. Amen. Guys, that's what I want to see. Could you see it? Okay, I can move this out of the way. Yes. Okay, that's good. That's good? Okay. Mm -hmm. Read up. Who gave priority to the Bible over church tradition mm -hmm. and papal decrees. Yes. The Waldenses. The Waldenses. Okay. People of the valleys were one of these groups. Yes. For centuries, during the Dark Ages, the Waldenses kept truth alive by copying the Bible. Yeah. Stop for a minute. Can you imagine someone telling you to copy the Bible? Mm -hmm. By hand. Mm -hmm. We're not talking about wow. cutting and pasting yeah. or copying and pasting right. yeah. into a new file. Yeah. We're talking about by hand. Amen. And not with a ballpoint pen right. because they didn't right. have any. Right. They're like a little brush, like a little right. stylus yeah. that yeah. they had to use dip, dip, dipping it into ink on parchment. Yes. My, um, the whole Bible. Oh, Read on. Copying the Bible mm -hmm. and taking its precious truth throughout Europe. Yes. Sometimes at the cost of their lives. Yeah. Well, how did they do that? Mm -hmm. They had such a missionary spirit. Yeah. That mm -hmm. they would have, they couldn't look like just, you know, like they were a separate group. Yeah. Okay. So where these separate groups come from, they're all black. Or wearing yeah, black and white, right. or you know what I'm saying? Where that comes from, I don't know, but I never read that in my Bible. Yeah. No, you want to read that in your sayings? No, mm -hmm. no. To say we're separate. No, how you live is what yeah. separates you. The sweet yeah. spirit of God in you is what yeah. separates you. Pray That's God. what makes us yeah. uniform. Throwing yes. on all black dress does not make you holy at all. Amen. 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 It doesn't set you apart it at all. Doesn't. The Waldensons, they just looked like everybody else. Mm -hmm. But they had something different in their hearts. Amen. So they would come down, they would get little jobs in the towns. They didn't want to live out there because they wanted to get together and pray. Mm -hmm. Or get together and have church in a cave somewhere. So they lived out in the outskirts. They lived in yeah. the, up in the country, up in the mountains, where nobody would notice them. But their children would come down, go to school, or get a job working with a blacksmith or something. And they kept it to themselves until mm -hmm. somebody, somewhere, might give a hint of not being happy. 
with the Catholic Church mm -hmm. or with their life. And that was their opportunity yeah. to witness, mm -hmm. which they did faithfully. Because if they didn't, the Waldenses would have died out. Right, mm -hmm. exactly. This was a thousand year period. Wow. And these little groups lasted. What does that mean? That's why we have the word today. Yes, because God. the Catholic Church was burning Bibles. Thank God. Yes. They were burning the parchments. Yes. They wouldn't let you have it. You had to do the Vulgate, and you weren't allowed to read. Right. That right. way you couldn't study the Bible yourself. Right. Right. Amen. So that whatever the priest told you, that's it. That's the truth. <laughs> My God. But these, mm -hmm. wherever they had a chance, Jesus loves you. Mm -hmm. God still has a people. Mm -hmm. Thank God. Could you do that? Come on. We have freedom in this country. Yes. We can openly declare, I'm saved. I don't do that. Oh, I'm saved from sin. Oh, I don't do that anymore. I thank God that God saved me from that. Right. And we're not even worried about the police coming for us and join us, throwing us in jail. Right. Do we witness? Come on. Come on. Do we carry the burden like the Waldenses did? And they were at the peril of their lives, like the saints of the early morning time. Mm -hmm. What burden do we carry? Mm -hmm. We're in the last of the last days. If we don't get out there now, when will we? Mm -hmm. Jesus can come back anytime. Amen. Read on, sis, and we're going to close. They trained their young people mm -hmm. from their earliest years yes. to be missionaries. Wow. To be missionaries. Wow. Amen. So we're talking about that second seal and brought it up to 530. Mm -hmm. And what happens after that? We'll talk about next time. Mm -hmm. A thousand years of darkness. Mm -hmm. My God. Thank God for each of you. Thank you for listening and sitting in with us. We hope it was a blessing to you. We yeah. want, we're hoping that these lessons will give you an appreciation right. for truth that maybe you just didn't have before. Mm -hmm. Because truth is precious. Yes, it is. And it's becoming of a higher price. As we go time and time is going on, there's less and less of it. And fewer people standing. Yes, right. Just like back then. Amen. So let's stand, saints. Look at the world around you. Look at our government. It's time for the saints to stand up and say, we are saved. Amen. God has a people that don't succumb to all this. Amen. To dare to be different. And don't worry about the persecution. Yeah. They didn't. Amen. Amen. We love you. Our next service will be on Sunday. Those good, those wonderful Sunday school lessons we've been getting. And you see they're going hand in hand. Yeah. God must be trying to tell us something. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. So let's be here for 915 for Sunday school. And then 11 o'clock Sunday morning service. Saints will be in the church house this time. So we look forward to seeing you. Don't stay home if you don't have to. Mm -hmm. Let the Lord bring you out here and press your way and get your blessing in your soul. Why? Because there's people out here in other countries that are like the Walden Seas mm -hmm. who cannot mm -hmm. openly yeah. this, right, right, show true. their faith. That's true. With That's fear true. of being murdered. True. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So let's take our liberty and our freedom and glorify God mm -hmm. with it. God bless you. Love you much.